Sports. Comedy. Photography. Travel. Music. Nature. And entertainment for the entire family. It's all here for you to enjoy as you explore the wonderful world of Kodak video programs. Here are some previews of the very best family programming from Kodak. Hang on for the ultimate thrill ride. A roller coaster beyond your wildest imagination. Race seemingly out of control down the first hill. Corkscrew through the turns like a rocket, then plunge into darkness only to emerge into another twisting, turning section of track. Ride several of America's most daring roller coasters in Roller Coaster Thrills. Here's a three-volume series designed to improve young players' skills in soccer. The Graduated Soccer Method, Fundamentals and Technique. If you think I'm a man in a robot suit, you've made a mistake. If you think I'm a robot in a man suit, you're correct. Can we play? Oh, yeah, please. Can, can we? Can we? Certainly. Play the video and solve the mystery that saves the Earth. I've got the answer. Think. You're right. Robots, the most fun you can have with your VCR. A new craze is sweeping the nation. The yo-yo has come out of retirement, and Tommy Smothers is the yo-yo man. He now comes into your home in this brand new video for your entire family and friends to enjoy. For people of all ages, learn how to do yo-yo tricks. The yo-yo man instructional video, a great gift idea from Kodak Video Programs. Join the fun. Just say yo. Are you ready to win at your favorite Nintendo games? Imagine the power you have when you know the secret paths and you've seen how to score more points. Hi, my name is Skip Rogers, World, World Video, Video Game, game Champion. Champion. I got to be number one by practicing all day, every day, and now I want to show you how to win. We'll be reviewing five hot games in this volume. I'll show you tips and tricks and then you'll see a summary page showing you the high points. Don't worry if you miss something, just rewind the tape. If you've got any questions or suggestions, drop me a line. We can't answer all our mail, but we love hearing from you. Anyway, let's get going with these games. Mega Man 2. Nine junior villains stand between you and Dr. Wily. Kill each one, gain his power, then go up against the master himself. Pay careful attention to the sneaky tricks we'll show you. There are nine missions, each against a different evil creature. After you complete each mission in order, you get a power from the creature you destroyed. Start with Metal Man. 
Keep your eyes open for the e-barrels. They give you extra energy when you eat one. And here's how you fight Metal Man. Now I'm getting an energy refill. Here we are invading Flashman's world. Stay to the right here, and the big guy can't get you. Stay on top here, pick up another E. Use M for Metal Blade to cut right through Flashman. Next, we'll go after Bubble Man. Jump real fast on these. Watch out for the spikes! Kill Bubble Man and get the air gun. Now we're ready to take on Air Man. Time the jumps for each cloud. Jump the tornadoes to kill Air Man. To beat Clash Man, start in the bottom corner and don't shoot the floating pipe people. To get past this guy, jump out, then jump back. Hit Clash Man in the air to kill him, but watch out for his bombs. To get the Heat Man, use the C weapon here. Use the Jet Ski to get over the lava with no problem. To beat Heat Man, jump over him, then fire. Welcome to the world of the Woodmen. Wait until the monkey jumps before you go forward. To kill the Woodman, watch out for his shield and don't use the metal weapon. Finally, there's Quick Man. Use the elevator to get the extra man. Jump right down the middle to avoid the beams. Use your freeze power. Use the regular gun to beat Quick Man. Platoon. Each level in Platoon is different, so you'll have to master each one separately. You can't make it through this game without a map. Fast reflexes help, too. They can't hit you when you switch rooms. Watch out for trip wires. Here are the explosives. Believe it or not, you can jump over bullets. Get this box and you'll get an extra life. Leave explosives on the bridge. Don't shoot the villagers. Go to the third hut for a map of the tunnel system. Watch out for booby traps. Get a torch from the fifth hut. You'll need it underground. Then use the trap door to go down in the fourth hut. Go as fast as possible and follow the on-screen map. Take everything here, the flares and the documents. Take the medical supplies, flares and weapons, then exit. Follow the map. Take the secret documents and the compass.
Go to the end of the tunnel, take the ammo, then go up the ladder. In this level, shoot every shadow before it becomes a person. Shoot them before they shoot you. You're fighting shadows here. Here's the fourth level. Use your compass, and good luck. Top Gun. If your reflexes are good and you've got a multiple fire joystick, you'll have no trouble with Top Gun. You've got to fly four missions, destroy enemy planes and ships, and return safely. Make sure you pick the right missiles. Use the 111 for the training mission, the Tigers for mission two, and the Hawks for missions three and four. Once you get flying, you can either concentrate on racking up points or getting to the next level. The timer doesn't care how fast you go or how many you hit. After a certain amount of time, you'll be elevated to the next level. If you want to avoid combat, just climb as high and as fast as you can. They can't reach you at top altitude. If you get shot at by rockets, you can shoot them with your guns or evade them. To evade, go up hard and then down. To avoid a battle, dive or climb. No one can hit you when you're on a fast descent or descent. When you get a bogey on your tail, push hard to the right and then go to the left. That should lose them. Don't worry about bogeys when you run out of fuel. They can't hit you when you're empty. To refuel, just follow two simple steps. First, make sure you're lined up with the nozzle. Then watch the radar screen and concentrate on the X. It may take a couple tries, but you should line up the nozzle with the X and you'll be set. When the radar screen says go up, be sure to push the joystick down. If you've got a joystick with multiple fire command, just hold down the missile button while you fly. It won't fire missiles unless they're lined up for a hit. Landing is the hardest part of the game. Even Skip Rogers misses a landing now and then. Try to follow the instructions as best you can, but always stay on the high side instead of the low side. It's much easier to slow down than to speed up when you're this close to a carrier. In Wizards and Warriors, you've got to work your way through a complicated world. Spend time finding keys, which get you inventory and let you get the gems to buy your way out. Make sure you make a map and keep good notes. The secret to winning the game is finding the keys in each level. Each key opens a chest and a door of the same color. 
Once you have the keys, you can open the treasure chest, which contain the weapons and gems you need to win. To get out of the first section of the game, you'll need a hundred gems. You can capture individual gems, and you can also find entire treasure chests full of them. Here's a chest filled with 21 gems. When you find a turkey drumstick, grab it. It'll give you extra life, which means more points, cause you die less. Once you get the dagger of throw, throw it at the acorns. They'll magically change, and then you can grab them. Remember, the gray doors don't require a key. If you can, try to find the boots of force. They will allow you to open any chest you don't have a key for. <laughs> Very powerful. Don't try to get past the evil knight without the gems you need. He'll waste your time. Keep your eyes open for the magic potions. Each one only lasts for a few seconds, but gives you extra power. The blue potions make you fast, the red make you invincible, and the pink let you jump higher. Watch for the shield of protection. You won't be able to get past the evil guardians without it. The cuckoo clocks don't help very much. They make everyone freeze for a few seconds. At the end of each level, you'll get extra points as you rescue the damsel. In the second level, it is essential that you find the Lava Walk Boots. Even though you have to give up the Boots of Force, you'll need the Lava Walk Boots for level 3. If you're careful, you'll be able to find places where you can rack up points and gems by jumping up and down. Keep your eyes peeled for the Potion of Levitation. Like the Shield of Protection, you'll have it for the entire game, and you'll need it to win. To get past this guy, you'll need to levitate. First spear each bat in the air, then run to the far side, levitate, and fight him with the dagger. The white dot on the map shows you where you are. The red dot gives you your destination. Here's where you need those boots. After you walk along the bottom, ride a bubble to get up. What you need at this level is the pink key. The only way you'll get high enough to reach some spots is to levitate, then jump. The red key is tough to get, but you'll need it to get the Battle Axe of Agur. Without the Battle Axe, you'll have trouble getting the next two levels. Here's the Staff of Power. We'll lose the Lava Boots, but we won't be needing them anymore. The Battle Axe is crucial for beating the monster. This level is tough. Here's where you'll find the Red Key. And here's the Blue Key. You'll also be able to get the Wand of Wonder. And very important. 
important. Here's the cloak of darkness. Here's how it works. Look behind the blue door to find the elusive pink key. To fight the ghost, use your cloak of darkness to become invisible. Even ghosts can't see you. Here's where you'll find the blue key. This is a very important chest. It holds the feather fall, which you'll need to win the game. It makes you fall very gently. Here's the red key. This guy isn't so hard to beat if you know what to do. Hit him, run to the other side, and hit him again. Keep going until you've vanquished him. This is the best part of the game. The eyes stay where they are, but the other posts move in and out. As you move up, go all the way to the right. Then levitate to get to the top. Go all the way to the left now, and use all of your timing to get to the very top. This is the gutsy part. Go to the left spire and jump. You'll float down to the secret entrance. Be careful, the acid can kill you. Now that you're in the palace, find the red key. Get out of this level. Go out and jump down to the ground floor. To beat the little guy, jump over him, hit him, then jump over him again. Levitate to pick up all your points. Finally, get the other red key. Scrap around until you have enough gems. Now it is you against the wizard. If you stand right here, he can't hit you from both sides, and you're sure to win. Metal Gear. Inventory is the name of the game in Metal Gear. You lose a lot of ground when you die, so be careful. Then don't believe the map you get or what you hear on the radio. You'll find a lot of misinformation. This is a hard game, so keep practicing. Run past everything. Don't let the dogs bite you or you'll die. Go into this truck for the binoculars. Find card number one in the second truck. Go for a ride in the third truck. Cigarettes don't do anything, so don't smoke. Every rank earns you three rations. Go in and out until you've got all the rations you can. Eat one and get another. Avoid the guards whenever you can. Use card one to open the door. Get the gas mask. Remember, pursuers disappear when you switch rooms. Oh, don't go up the middle corridor. It's a trap. Go to the left truck for the gun. But you still need ammo. 
Go to the right truck for the mines. Don't go in the middle truck. It's a trap. Take the elevator to the third floor. Stay next to the wall to avoid cameras. Do all the card one rooms first. It saves time. You improve your rank by rescuing prisoners. Get the gas mask ready as soon as you enter this room. There's poison gas. Go in slow to avoid the rolling pin. Use your gun here. Get card number two. Get rations three times. Use card two to get a hint. Get the missiles. Put on the gas mask right away. Get more ammo. Use card two to rescue this guy. It helps you gain points. Get the silencer. Get the grenade launcher. Rescue this guy and get a clue. Go down the elevator. Watch out for the pitfall between wood crates. Use card two here. Rescue this guy and get a clue. Your rank will go up. So will your powers. Get the submachine gun. Go into the truck and surrender. It's the only way to win. Punch the left wall to escape. Rescue the gray fox. Punch the wall along the bottom. Go past the shotgunner straight into the second room. Get your stuff. Then go to the left room and get card three. Get next to him, then shoot ten times. Get body armor. It will protect you later. Get a bomb blast suit. Go straight to the right through the maze zone. Get four sets of rations. Uh, don't go into the middle truck. It's a trap. Get card four from the last truck. Go to the second floor. Get the ammo. You always need bullets. Get the plastic explosive. Use card three. Be careful of the roller. Get the mines. Make sure you have a lot of rations for the heat panel. Kill all the guys first. Ready the rations. Eat the rations in the middle of the panel. Get card three ready. Get the infrared goggles. You can use them to see traps. Don't let the guard get near the panel. Use card four to get to Machine Gun Kid. Get close and shoot him ten times. Get the Iron Glove using card one. Use card three.
rescue this guy and get a clue. Use goggles to see infrared lines. Use card 1 to rescue this guy and get a clue. Get the ammunition. Get the plastic explosive. Use the transceiver. Remember, they're not on your side. Go to the roof. Put on the bomb blast suit. Use card 2 to rescue this guy. It'll help your rank. Take the bridge, but go slow. Use rations to survive heat panels. Get the mine detector. Leave the room and kill the guard before he activates the heat panel. Beat the twins by sneaking around the corner. Now lure them over, then hit them with grenades. 10 per guard. Use card 2 to rescue this guy and get a clue. Die on the bridge on purpose to get to the right spot. Get the rations. Leave a mine under the wheels. You need 10 to win. Use the mine detector here. Get the message. To get through the maze, go left two screens. You're almost there. Go up one screen on the left path. Then go left one screen. Leave the maze by going straight back. Use the uniform to get in. Use card 4 to get ammo. Open the door, fire the grenade launcher, and shoot the tank. Wear the goggles here. Take the elevator to the roof. Use card 2 to rescue this guy and get a clue. Stay on the roof and get card 5. There's a pitfall between these crates. Get the rations. Get the antenna. Don't go in the deep water. Use card 5 to get card 6. Take the shortcut out of the gutter. Take the elevator to the second floor. Get your fourth star before using this clue. Rescue this guy and get a clue. Earn a star. Now use the radio. Use card 6 to get the launcher. Use card 1 and move fast. Get the ammunition and a bonus. Don't go in. This is a dummy of the doctor. Kill Arnold with the rocket launcher. Take card 7. Use the radio to get the compass. Get the compass. Use card 6 to get the antidote. 
go to the desert. Go straight. Kill what's ahead of you. Don't answer the radio. Don't go in the door on the left. Watch out for the pitfalls. Go to the edge, then run left. Go down. Get the oxygen tank. Now use the oxygen and go underwater. Watch the heat panels. Use card 7 to open the door. Don't kill Jennifer's brother. Watch out for the pitfall. Rescue each prisoner. Get Jennifer's brother. Then get the last card. And you've got the entire inventory. Good luck. Happy gaming! Here are some coming attractions from other Score More Points videos. Here's what you'll see in some of the other tapes in this series. We'll be reviewing five hot games in this volume. I'll show you tips and tricks, and then you'll see a summary page showing you the high points. Don't worry if you miss something, <laughs> just rewind the tape.